Today, let's make a DIY poof perfect for your living room. Welcome, I do sewing and DIY related content and today we're using this fake fur material to make a DIY poof. I actually got this idea from my YouTube short. I asked for just lots of ideas on how I should be using all this fake fur and someone had said an ottoman and I thought that was a great idea. So we are going to be doing that with all this fake fur. So the first step was we needed to cut out six square pieces of material. So I originally cut this out in 21 by 21 inch pieces of fabric. That was gonna to be too large and I would not have enough so I did end up shrinking this down to a 17 by 17 inch square and cut out six of them. The cat loved this fabric. She just kept laying on it the whole time. I let her lay on it since she was enjoying it so much. She did eventually decide to leave though as she got bored of the fabric and we were able to continue on with the squares. Now for the last square, I did have to piece two of the fabric pieces together so that I could get the correct size. If this happens to you, just be sure to match them with right sides together with the fabric facing the same direction so if you're using fake fur, making sure that the fake fur grain is all going the same way and that will help it so that you'll be able to get that one piece of material and will give it a really nice and smooth look. Then I just took that seam all the way down to sew these two pieces and then I just kind of tried to play with the fake fur to pull it out of the seam just to make it look a little bit more continuous as one piece of fabric but overall wasn't too bad so now I have my six pieces and I'm ready to get started. Now for some of them they were a little bit larger smaller than the others just because fake fur can be really difficult to cut. I tried to use a rotary cutter and that seemed like the best option for me so just be sure when you're going through this the grain of the fabric if you're using fake fur is all going the same way. The sizes are the same and then I found quilting clips to be the easiest like these really large quilting clips to sewing them up. So I did two pieces of fabric together and then I did two other pieces of fabric together. Now when it comes time to sewing it, as you can see, my sewing machine is able to do this. This is just a regular home sewing machine, but it is thick. So you do really have to guide your fabric through. I know that there are like heavy duty sewing machines that you can get. I don't have one. I was able to get this to work. It just takes some time and you really do have to kind of help guide the fabric through the machine as you're sewing it. So now, as you can see, I have these two panels that are each made up of those two squares. So now with right sides together, I am now going to pin up those two short edges on either side of the panel. I want to be sure that the corners are matching so you can see where that corner seam is going to be, that they match at the middle. And then I'm just going to pin this up along that short edge. And then as you are doing this, of course, if you are using fake fur, be sure that the fur direction is all going the same way. You don't want one to be facing up and one to be facing down. That is going to ruin the appearance of the poof. So as you can see, I just went through, I am trying to move some of these big clumps of fur out of the way as I am pinning it up just to make it a little easier for myself. And I'm going to take that seam along one side and then repeat this for the other side. So basically we're just making a cube. So we are now sewing together. Those two edges will give us that cube. And then we'll just have to add a top and the bottom very similar to before this was thick you really have to take your time to go through it and help guide your fabric once i have the cube complete it is now time to sew on the bottom so i'm going to take that fifth piece of my material and just match it up to each of the edges all the way around so if everything was cut out the same measurements this should match really well just going to take my quilting clips go all the way around the cube match them up so that i'm able to get that fifth piece on as you can see i used a lot of quilting clips for this one did break as I was going through just because this fabric is so thick. Then I just went through my sewing machine and sewed the entire thing up, being very careful, making sure I'm getting both the back and the front and not just the fake fur. Now it was time to add the top. Now for the top, I am going to add a zipper. I used a 20 inch zipper for this, but if you wanna skip a zipper and just hand sew it closed, you could definitely do that as well. If you're using a zipper, you're gonna match your one edge of the zipper with the right sides together with the right side of your fabric, so that fuzzy side of your fur fabric, if that's what you're using, and just take a seam all the way through so that you're attaching the zipper to the cube portion of your poof. Once you get that done, we are then going to be adding the sixth and final piece of our poof onto the other side of the zipper. So with right sides together, very similar to before, just pinning this all the way up. And then I'm just going to take that seam so that I'm attaching the final piece of the poof to the zipper. Once you have that done, we are then gonna be able to just take a seam all the way around the rest of that sixth and final piece. I did forget to get footage of this, so you're just gonna be pinning with right sides together the rest of the poof body with that sixth and final piece, just sewing it all the way up. 
so making this be one large cube and going all the way through being sure to back stitch the entire time this is just a look if you use fake fur it's very messy there's fur everywhere i'm gonna have a lot of cleaning to do and i just used a lint roller to just go through clean all of this up i went through multiple sheets and then i did trim off some of the corners a little bit just to make it not be so bulky and then once i did that i turned it right side out and the poof was ready to be stuffed now i'm going to be using old clothes so this is kind of a storage poof and i found that it worked really really well since I do hoard t-shirts and other clothing that I just don't want to get rid of. So this was an amazing way to hold all of it and then to actually have it be usable instead of just sitting in a closet. Here is what the completed poof looks like though. I absolutely love it. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've made. I'm so happy that I got this fake fur and I was able to use it. And it's going to be something that I'm able to see every day now since it's just a piece of furniture. Do you want an Etsy pattern for this? If so, let me know in the comments and I can make an Etsy pattern as well. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.